What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here. I don't have anything to talk about. I just have one topic to talk about. Just one topic. So then we'll see what else comes from that. And my phone, my battery, I didn't charge my phone last night. So my battery, I had to charge it this morning while I, while I got dressed and stuff. And it's like on 25%. So hopefully... And the, the thing, my, I don't know what's wrong with the thing. The charger thing, it works at home, but it doesn't work in the car. So I think something's wrong with my chart, my USB port. So I, when I go take my car to get serviced, I'll go ask them about it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the demon stop. You know what, ugh, child, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know what it is. Shit. So we down here chilling at the park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, what are we talking about? Jen Shaw of Salt Lake City was arrested on... Where's my where's my stuff at? My article. Let me go to the... Because I posted it on, um, on the community page. So, a lot of... A lot of... Um, Oh, yeah, I do have another thing to talk about, too. Did I put this? Um, okay. Okay, first thing let's talk about. This is both housewives stories, two housewives. The other one is about Drew Zadora. <sighs> Remember when Kenya said that she needed a tummy tuck after she said, you bought your ass, bounce it? All of a sudden, Drew says, well, Drew has disclosed her personal health history with us to tell us that um, she has some type of medical condition that makes, I don't know, that makes her look like she needs a tummy tuck. So we'll see. Also, my lips are chapped. <laughs> That's, what they be looking. That's why they look like I just went to get some fillers. They are so chapped and I don't know why. I don't know why they are so chapped. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, see, he says battery is low. So let me, um... Let's talk about Jen Shaw first. Clankity clank. Now, remember the other day when we were when we were watching Bell Collective and we were talking and Marie was talking to Egypt and was like, if I was doing some fraudulent shit, wouldn't they be after me by now? And you know, would I be on TV? My whole thing is, girl, yes, that they people would do mess on TV. Look at Joe and Teresa. Joe and Teresa was doing 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 mess i can't I, I need another thing for my i need another charger i don't know i guess anyways we'll see so it says here let's look at the let's look at it what it says jen shaw it says reality show cast members charged with running nationwide telemarketing fraud scheme jennifer shaw and ooh. You know what you're doing to that man's good name? You know what you're doing to Coach Shaw's good name? Oh, my God, how embarrassing. It's like to top it off, like you had one of the worst seasons a housewife could have besides Drew Zadora. I don't think Drew is having a good season. I, and I think a lot of people are not feeling her. A lot of people like her because of who she's going against. But I don't think a lot of people just overall like her sneaky, passive-aggressive, um, you know, intolerable attitude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of people are, you know, I'm gonna read some of your comments and see what y'all say. But what Jen Shaw says, Jen Shaw and Stuart Smith. So I, was that her first assistant that was sitting in the car with her? And remember on, um, remember on the reunion, Andy asked her, what does she do? And I thought she was doing some type of multi-level marketing thing. Um, because some people really, you know, gain wealth from, multi-level marketing they they start off right and they're able to you know get a, a large amount of money and able to live a certain lifestyle um so i thought she was in multi-level marketing i didn't know she was scamming old people maybe she needs to get with phaedra and apollo they could tell her how to how oh no they went to jail too i mean phaedra did and apollo did mm -hmm. um so it says allegedly profited by generating lists of victims for targeting and direct co-conspirators to de defraud them. Wow. It says, okay, so they're having unsealing of a superseding indictment charging Jennifer Shaw and Stuart Smith with conspiracy, con 
conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing and conspiracy to commit money laundering. The case has been assigned to the U.S. United States District George Sidney Stein. Shaw and Smith were arrested early t earlier today and they were filming. They were getting ready to go on a cash trip to Colorado. Yeah. So I don't know if they caught it because they said they were getting ready to leave. I read something that said they were getting ready to leave. And Jen was like, I'll be right back. I guess she maybe heard. And they said they swarmed and it was filmed. But they don't know if the law enforcement is going to confiscate the film. I don't know why they would, why they wouldn't, because that's like, you know, they love a, they love a good old, they love a good old perp walk. You know what I'm saying? They love that in our, in our country. They love to publicly shame you. Like you, anyways, anyway, so let me go, let me read this. So they were arrested earlier today and will be presented this afternoon in Salt Lake City Federal Court before the United States Magistrate Judge Dustin Peed. Manhattan U.S. Attorney Audie Straw said Jennifer Shaw, who, per <laughs> who portrays herself as a wealthy and successful business person on reality television, and Stuart Smith, who portrayed Shaw's first assistant, allegedly generated and sold list leads, I'm sorry, lead list of innocent individuals for other members of their scheme to repeat to repeatedly scam in actual reality as an alleged the so-called business opportunities pushed on the victims by shaw smith and their co-conspirators were just fraudulent schemes motivated by greed to steal victims money now these defendants face time in prison for their alleged crimes. So they're like targeting old people. Targeting old people and scamming them out of money. You always hear about, you know, on Dateline or 60 Minutes, uh, this old, you know, people talking about their family members gave away their entire life savings. People end up, you know, dying by suicide after they realize they've been scammed. There's another story that I, t I probably talked about it a few years ago. It's a, it was a story a long time ago in The Hollywood Reporter about this woman. They couldn't tell if it was a woman, but it sounded like a woman who was scheming um, Hollywood executives or acting like she was acting as a Hollywood exec. I think Amy Pascal was um, targeted. There was other Hollywood people targeted and... Um, this person was stealing people's money, stealing their money, um, people sending them money, sending this person over the phone. You have never seen them sending them money. And um, they were a scam. They couldn't find the person. They never could find the person. This person was defrauding people out of so much money that some of the people, some of the, you know, everyday people, not, not necessarily in Hollywood, but some of them ended up dying by suicide because they were so embarrassed about being taken for all their life savings. And yeah, crazy. So it's just, it's not just taking people's money. It's just the whole thing. It's like you're targeting older people. Um, maybe that's why she was so mad about, um, what's her name? What's the name? Being a grandfather, <laughs> grandfather fucker. I put too much cream in this coffee. It's cold. I cold brewed it, but I put too much creamer in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till I get home and put more coffee in it because it, it's cold, but I don't want to drink it because it's too sweet. Look how, did you see how, did you see how light it was? It's ruined now. Put too much white cream in it. And so now it doesn't taste good. It says, um, what does it say? Okay, in reality, they allegedly built their opulent lifestyle at the expense of vulnerable, often elderly, working class people. As alleged, as alleged, disturbingly, Shaw and Smith objectified their very real human victims as leads to be bought and sold, offered their personal information for sale to other members of their fraud ring. Working with our partners at the NYPD and the United States Attorney's Office, SDNY, um, and the assistant of the HSI, Salt Lake City HSI. What's HSI stand for? Um, Homeland Security Investigations. Okay. <clears throat> 
They said HSI in Salt Lake City, HSI in New York work to secure that Sean Smith will answer for their alleged crimes. As a result, their new reality may very well turn out differently than they expected. These individuals allegedly targeted and defrauded hundreds of victims, but thanks to the hard work of the NYPD and our law enforcement partners, the illegal scheme was brought to an end. I, congratu I congratulate the NYPD de detectives of home. It's so funny when they catch somebody doing like fraud or something like that. They act like they really do write a little, you know, a press release and make it seem like you were <clears throat> the boss, the mob boss that worked all every single state in the United States, frauded everything. They make it seem bigger than it is, but we're going to see how many people it says. Um... It says hundreds of victims. So we'll see. Over 55. That's uh, that's really sad and that's embarrassing. That is so embarrassing, y'all. She's 47 years old, Jen, Jen, um, Jen, Jen Shaw. That's crazy. That is so mon money laundering. They carry up, uh, up to a maximum sentence of 20 years. Jen Shaw, you're going to do some time. You better take a plea, girl. You're going to do some time. You better take a fucking plea and get your get you a year and a day in jail. You better do like Lil Kim and Martha Stewart and Teresa Judice. You better do it. And then we have another story. Let me go find it on Twitter. Is, is Drew Zadora. Here, let me find it. Ciao. This is a mess. Drew Zadora. Say, I want to read it right. I want to get it right. I don't want to say what it is, but I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's fucked up actually because, okay. It says the revelation, this is the headline from the game BET. The revelation comes after Kenya Moore criticized her, her appearance. That's the headline. It says Drew Zadora reveals a serious health condition. Drew Zadora is revealing to page six that she current that she is currently dealing with a uterine condition that affected that affect. Wait a minute. She is dealing with a uterine condition that can affect her appearance. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It says star. The Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star told the outlet she may need a hysterectomy after being diagnosed last year with adenomyosis, which occurs when the tissue that lines the uterus grows into the, into the walls. What I'm dealing with as a woman, as a mother, this is serious to me, said the 35-year-old mom of three. The revelation comes amid Zadora's back and forth with fellow housewife Kenya Moore, who suggested she get a tummy tuck after Zadora took aim at Moore's body on Sunday night's episodes of Housewives of Atlanta. The back and forth spurred after Moore refused to join a booty bounce contest with the other women. What's the problem, girl? You paid for that booty. Bounce it, Zadora told the cameras. The line was a not-so-subtle diss at Moore, who has denied getting any work done on her backside. Zadora said to page six, she doesn't regret what she said to Kenya. The one, it's one thing to talk about what we go through as women versus someone who's unnatural and gets butt shots. Regarding possible surgery, Zadora is currently seeking a second opinion from da Dr. Jackie Walters of Mary to Medicine. It comes after one doctor informed her she needed a hysterectomy. So she's saying that's affecting the way that her stomach looks. It, isn't that, okay, I'm not a medical professional, but isn't the effect usually come from having like fibroids? It can affect the way that your stomach looks. I think it's, a, I think it's, I think it's whack. I think it's whack for her to pull that card like that. Oh my God, where is your scooter, bitch? That's what I want to know. You got all these ailments. Are you the fuck? Are you the motherfucking parking meter, motherfucker? <laughs> where is your scooter? You got all these ailments. That's what I'm saying, Portia. 
and Drew, y'all need new material. We've already done this. We've already done this. Then you got all these ailments. Remember when Kim came on? I would I wish that that we would have got that we would have got this for the reunion. I wish this would have came before the reunion. So now Drew Zadora has a medical condition. She shared her medical condition with us so that so that everybody can tell Kenya what that she was body shaming. Y'all have been body shaming Kenya. Y'all been talking about her skin since the first season she was on there, season five. We're now in season 13. For eight seasons, y'all have been talking about, and let me tell you something. We're just going to accept that the way that the women fight on the Real Housewives of Atlanta is dirty. There's no way that we can come back and say, oh, she has a medical condition. Oh, she has skin issues. Oh, she's um, enhancing her body so she can make herself more desirable. Oh, she, uh, she, you don't have a man. All of the whack-ass shit that we come after each other for, they do it on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You don't have a man, something's wrong with you. You can't keep a man, something's wrong with you. You got butt shots, you got your butt done. Um, Portia has her, had, has her entire body done. She didn't have breasts and she got a fat transfer. That's why it looks like her, her ass is a, a bag of cotton balls. That's why, that's why her ass looks like that. What Drew Sador should have done in that image is wear some foundation like your grandmother used to tell you put something on underneath so that your clothes are smooth and that you don't look like a sack of potatoes you don't look like a busted biscuit can that's that's the point put on some foundation ladies get you a spanx a girdle go down to fbfbody.com and get you some body shape wear shout out to za go get you some of go get that's a black owned black woman owned business who who sells body wear shape wear go down there that's not an ad that's, that's the home girl that's not an ad okay but i'm saying drew that's what you should have had on you may not you won't need a tummy tuck and I hope that somebody who is a medical professional can t can say that what is happening in her uterus is not going to affect her outside appearance. Because on other images, Drew didn't look like she looked standing in front of that green screen in a tornado. You looked a fucking mess. And you should be mad at the producers for allowing that to film and didn't film you from the, from the titties up. They got you out here looking crazy. And now you want to, and now you want to say, oh my God, Kenya, Kenya is making fun of me. Now I'm the victim. Now I'm the victim. Please feel sorry for me. And you know what they're doing? I mean, a lot of people are like, oh my God, y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't stand the people coming after Kenya. Kenya can handle her own. It's the attempts that are so tragic it's like you guys are rookies that's what it is and you guys are rookies tell us where is your motherfucking scooter bitch where is your scooter drew <laughs> you got all these motherfucking ailments just like when um what's her name said uh what uh, nini said you could use a little bleaching yes when she was talking to when she was when they were making fun of nini because she got her teeth done you got your teeth done. I see you got your teeth done. Bitch, remember when Kim Zosiak said, I don't know what happened to her teeth on the side. Maybe she ate them. Bitch, what she said. <laughs> They're done. They're done. That's You guys are slow and delayed. That's, that's sad. Anyways, y'all, that's all I had to talk about today is the two housewives, Drew Shaw. Drew Shaw. <laughs> Jen Shaw, you see my lips are chapped. Can y'all tell? I'm self, I'm self, um, oh, girl, why didn't y'all tell me? Oh, okay, I don't have nothing in my nose. I thought it looked like, I was gonna say, why didn't y'all tell me? Then people got these, oh, he's trying to get his toy. Where'd they go? The dog's trying to get his toy. They got this dog tied to a tree, and he's like less than, a. he's like so close to his toy, and he's trying to pull to get it. And they just looking. They need to get him. Anyways, y'all, that's it. What do you guys think about Jen Shaw defrauding the people? Remember, they, we said, because you know what it is? 
It's the narcissism. It's the narcissism that makes you believe that you're smarter than your victim. It makes you believe that you can wear this mask in, in public and you can be defrauding people in the back and not think that, that people are not going to be watching you. That people are not going to be watching you. Joe, Joe and Teresa, Apollo, who's going to jail on the housewives? The other woman, um, Lynn, what was her name in Orange County? She got she was doing she was doing some scam shit too. Her both of her daughter, I think one of her daughters is in the adult film industry now. Baby, this is just regular people, right? And it's the narcissism. It's you believing that you are smarter. It's you believing that you can get over on people. It's you believing that you can come down and be on a hit reality show and not have eyes on you. And I bet you they got her when they were filming on purpose. The way that whoever wrote this thing, the little press release, and the quotations around flam, you know, flamboyant or lavish lifestyle, her first assistant, y'all petty in the damn announcement anyway. Y'all already petty in the announcement. Where is it? What did they say? Victims are actual and legitimate setting out, setting out how much the downstream sales floors could charge and determining which products each of the downstream sales floor could sell. It was, it looks like it's marketing as a, a MLM determining with coaching sales floor could buy leads from them. Fraudulent Avenue, the way, the way that they said it says, um, as a result, their new reality may be may very well turn out differently than expected. My lips are chapped, honey. I gotta go. Okay, y'all, I'm out of here. I can't talk. I feel like my lips are about to bust right here. You see it? I'm gonna go put. I have on some um, Aquaphor because that heals. Oh my god. I don't know how wh why they are so chapped, but it's just at the top. It does look like I got. It looks like I got fillers. And then Drew with her uterine issues. Why would you disclose that just to make somebody look bad? You sound fucking stupid. That's 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 desperate to me. Like that's desperation to me. You're gonna say, that is so crazy. You're gonna say, okay, she said I she said I need a tummy tuck, so I'm gonna come out and say I got a, I got this condition that is increasing the lines of my uterus. I want to know, does it affect your appearance? I really want to know. I know I knew a few women with endometriosis and their stomachs wasn't big or anything like that. Uh, but she has something, something else, my, meiosis or something. That's stupid. You are going to play that card. I'm a woman and a mother with a medical condition. And she made fun of my body. But since you get ass shots, I can make fun of yours, girl. If you don't get the fuck out of here, Drew's Adora is so whack. She's so whack. She is so fucking whack. And, girl, like on some real shit, y'all need to bring up the value of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I remember I did say, you know what I keep saying? I want Portia, Portia, Drew, Fallon, LaToya, and Lauren, uh, Portia's sister, I said that. I don't want that no more. I want women who are established, right? We got Kenya. We got Candy. We got Cynthia who are comfortable, who don't feel like they need to uh, just go after one person. And it's so crazy that instead of coming on the show and trying to get along with Kenya, you come on the show and want to go against her, which doesn't even make sense to me. But like I said, a person knows if I go against Ken Kenya, I'm going to have an instant fan base. And that's what they do. That's what they do. But it's crazy. We're going to see. I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait to the reunion to see what they do, what the, how, how that happens. I hope Kenya fillets that bitch. Hope she gives that bitch a Colombian necktie that she'll never talk again. Anyways, y'all, I'm out of here. Take care of yourself.
and each other and protect your energy peace